Hey everybody, it's Jason Bly here. Thought I would sit down to a video for you guys and gals. A sip of water. Get my radio voice going. Let's talk about something. You know, I always see some comments. Like I put up a picture uh, just a little bit ago of my training vlog, and all these bizarre anti TRT comments. People come off TRT, and it's like, did you guys miss my whole Gear Chat series? Just saying, I have a gear chat series. I have a whole series where I discuss detailed biochemistry of anabolics. I discuss how masters lifters do this stuff, what their stacks look like, all the ones who are still healthy with good blood work, literally what they do and how they get away with it. In detail, I have detailed talks of this. Um, whether you think I look big or not is irrelevant. You guys know my height weight. You can estimate my body fat. I have a 28 fat free mass index at age 47. Go research natural limits and fat free mass index. And we'll just, I'll leave it there. Really strange statements. Um, and I'm very pro TRT. But why that tag gets associated with me seems quite strange. It really does. TRT is a modern medical miracle. Probably, in my opinion, as someone who's a big advocate for, for men's health, I think it's probably the greatest thing since life's bread. And I think every one of you who are against it, as you get older, your opinion is going to change. You're going to think it's amazing one day. You're going to get on your knees and thank God that it exists one day. Okay, Because it really is. It really is that awesome. But it just seems strange throw to me. And it seems strange still that people associate TRT with muscle growth. In what delusional world does having testosterone in the normal, healthy range that, you know, guys at age 23 have, what world is that associated with carrying huge amounts of muscle? Guys are a little delusional. All right, but... <laughs> That aside, it's just, it's such a bizarre behavior. And, and it's only coming from this little niche in the fitness world. I don't think people realize it by and large. And to the rest of the world, everyone else is looking for advantages to be healthier, to look better, to get in shape. It's only a little tiny, strange, cult-like niche on the internet that still obsesses over purity in sports. Purity in baseball. I said, just like Biden up here, we got to keep purity in baseball. It's the American, the American tradition is our sport. You know, if it wasn't for baseball in the U.S. Senate, no one would probably care about PEDs at all. They would all be legalized at this point. My opinion. Because we come over with what's everything else that's going on. Longevity clinics everywhere. Millions of non-lifters get prescribed testosterone. Thousands of people, I know women personally, by the way, who go to clinics and they get prescribed HGH, real HGH, to help tighten their skin, to help them lose a little body fat. It's cosmetic, cosmetic benefit. Okay, this is normal. We live in a world where people are obsessed with nootropics, which again, PEDs for the brain. Everyone's looking for the newest pharmaceutical to help them get in shape, to lose fat. I'm sorry, that's the world we live in. Sorry, I just ate a burp a little. That is the world we live in. And none of that has to do with saying no one should, should not be working hard. But the reality is the people on this other little niche, they have these, these ideas that they don't think that most of the people they look up to are already on gear. Not TRT, because they're not on TRT. They can call it that. All right, why do they call it that? They say it so that they can claim they're doing something legal. Because if it's TRT, it is legal. TRT, by definition, is legal, right? Because it is a doctor prescribing it for a medical purpose. So then they can't get in trouble. Do you guys understand the point? And that's the problem we have. Everyone wants all these people to be honest, but would you be happy if they were honest? No, they don't. People get mad. They demonize them. 
Well, I can't believe you're not bigger. What do you mean? The guy's running hefty doses. That's how big he should be. Because that's the problem. Everyone, because of so much of the fake natty stuff, a guy who only uses 500 milligrams, which is way, 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 way more than TRT, will always look natural to you guys. To those who really don't know what they're looking at, of course that's obtainable natural. Because you've been led to believe that a gram a week is what a natural is supposed to look like. So obviously 500 milligrams should be obtainable. That guy could be on that for 10 years and that should be obtainable in two years of just working out, right? And just creatine. People have these delusional ideas. And, and because they don't understand the world uh, around them or what people are doing, they don't understand how pervasive and prevalent this stuff already is in the lifting world. It really is. You'd be shocked. I mean, if and, and if you don't know this already, then you don't talk to anyone or you don't look like you lift. Because if you look like you lift, every when you go to the gym, guys would all be talking to you about it anyways. I can walk into any gym anywhere in this country. Any gym. I don't care what gym. 24-hour fitness. Dudes will start chatting to me about their, their stack. And other dudes will come over and dudes will all be talking about it. It's normal. It's why we need education. That's why guys like me and other people do try to put out videos like I've done. Because people are going to do these things. And those of you who have these strange ideas that they're not, uh, I'm sorry, you, you live in a little weird delusional bubble. I promise you, the gym you go to, there's plenty of guys you don't even realize you're on gear who are on it then. I promise you. Probably 37 of them. And because they're going to do it, that's why we need education. Right? Because it is all eventually going to get legalized. So there's going to be a bigger push over time because of, again, all the other benefits. Anything that helps people get in shape, lose weight, get stronger erections, tighter skin, look younger, there's going to be a push. These things are going to get deregulated. Again, sports is the only thing holding it back. And when this last little generation of senators who passed all those bills, they finally die off of old age, when they die off of old age, all the ones who care about baseball, the U.S. is going to quit caring. And when they quit caring, it's going to quit backing the IOC and all that. And it's just going to be what it is. The reality we live in. Um, but it's already there. So the point is that's why we need better education on it. But these people with this whole, oh, TRT, using the word TRT in a negative manner, um, you guys sound so profoundly ignorant because you clearly don't know what TRT is. You don't realize that TRT is amazing for men's health and it literally is not going to give you gains. Um, it's not going to happen. And that's going to be unfortunate because so many of these guys have done this and they've made a big deal about it, demonized it, and then they're going to have low testosterone as they get older. They're going to go get prescribed and they're going to wonder why they didn't blow up. Why they didn't get really jacked all of a sudden. Because you got a replacement dose. Your dick works great. Now your depression went away. Right? You're taking your wife to pound town every night without needing Viagra. You're not depressed anymore. You're confident. Doing better with your job, your career but you only gained a few ounces of muscle. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the reality. But your health and your quality of life is going to improve. Absolutely. And you're going to be singing the praises, but then you're going to be upset that you didn't get the gains. Yeah, because you're ignorant. And you, you think that that's actually how it works. It doesn't. It doesn't. Um, but as far as the other goes, that's one reason I've decided to start doing the gear talk again. We need more people who do have knowledge and experience in these areas putting out good information. Okay. But it's, again, I don't tell people what I personally do, and I would rather not. 
because it's still the current climate. I mean, I'm more than willing to educate people and talk to them about it, but I'm not going to get up here on a camera and be like, I do X, Y, Z. You guys can infer whatever you like, but I'm not going to get up and say those things. At least not until uh, the climate changes about it. But I do want to be part of the education process to help people so that we can have better harm reduction. Okay. Because we don't need people dropping dead. Right. It, we need to be discussing safety. We need to be discussing health. We need to be discussing our lipid profiles and blood pressure. Because we're not dealing with TRT at that point. We're dealing with a lot and that's the norm. So people need to quit throwing the, the word TRT, which is a modern medical miracle for men, need to quit throwing that around there and making it the same thing as using gear. It's just, it's not. And I'm sorry, but at the, the point we're at, people have been so deceived as to, by fake natties as to what's obtainable natural. That, that quite frankly, I really think the average person who makes those statements doesn't realize that the natural limit of what they think a guy can achieve versus versus what is actually enhanced is probably 20 or 30 pounds of muscle difference. As far as what a natural can really do on that frame of the person you're looking at versus where they, they really are. Um, but that's it's been that way a while until you get into the circles and once you guys are big enough to look like you lift and you're putting up some decent numbers you'll get welcomed into a different world and then you'll you'll learn what's up and, and it's always been that way and the guys who make these comments i already know that you guys don't look like you lift because you would know this already because the guys at the gym would have already told you all right guys but that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it's been informative and i'll talk to you guys next time